That gentleman been over the walls in the dressing room, you know, exactly what I expect. You listen to me at all times, you keep yourself protected at all times. When I say start, you start. Do you want to touch gloves with it now? Let's do this. Here we go! Black trunks for the champion. Blue trunks for the challenger. Alistair Overeem has taken a cautious approach as of late, moving around a lot and looking to counter strike, particularly early in the fight. Look for him to use a lot of movement and avoid the rush of Stipe. He likes to fight from the southpaw position and throw hard power kicks with that left leg. And on the inside, he has some of the best knees in the business. 35 seconds, 54 jar and 247 to take the belt from Purdue. And there was that hard power kick that we were talking about. Look at that. He's, he's literally running. Oh, oh my tackle. goodness! You got the guillotine. Can he finish it right here, right now? His guillotine is nasty. Miocic in huge trouble. No, he's not. Not even. He and he's chasing over him down. He's still wobbly, though, Mike. He's still wobbly. He's on shaky legs. with this belt, there will be no argument. And as far as a striker, maybe unmatched all time. Oh, well, for sure, there's never been a guy. Oh, he caught him there. Steve caught him with a left. Oh, and Alistair caught him. 87 goal oh, big strike for miss. Overeem. Stipe right in the pocket. Right hand by Stipe. Alistair's in trouble. Crowd. And the crowd reacts. Alistair's in trouble, Mike. And he got tagged again. He's got to get off the cage. And for Stipe, he's got to move in and close the show. And he tags him again. Good right hand by Stipe. Good combination. He was left to the body by Stipe. Miocic, the aggressor. Again, he connects. He doesn't want to chase, though. Alistair's hurt, Mike. He's hurt. Chase, Alistair Overeem, hurt or not. Both guys have been hurt in this first round. Stipe took a quick glance at the clock after Overeem connected a moment ago. Alistair's wild here, throwing big, winging shots from the outside. Boy, I don't like his defense at all. Hands down. Preserving his energy. I right, tag him again. Yochi stand right in the pocket. Throws his own kick. Combination. Good combination by Stipe. His technical boxing is outstanding. And Alistair's just winning these weird, crazy punches. Stipe on top. Hammer fist by Stipe. Big ground and pound to the body. Alistair's in all sorts of trouble here, Mike. Postured up. Alistair's Big shot. He's out. Hit it. It's all over. Stipe Miocic remains the heavyweight champion. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Steve Miocic. Here we go! Oh, flying sidekick to the face. We are underway. Incredibly aggressive here. <laughs> Dove on that ankle, and Travis easily escapes it. Oh, good right hand by Fabricio. 
This is a three-round fight. The Doom is throwing a bunch of tricks in a He shows no effects whatsoever of being tentative after his knockout loss. I mean, he's wilder than ever right now. Travis Brown made the point, Cody. He's only been fighting for seven years. The UFC for six. Circumstance, Mark, what exactly is the ruling and was that proper or not? There's no timeouts in fighting, so uh, no. Uh, he, 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 he can't just do that. Uh, that's that's part of the game. So uh, Yeah, unless he's stopping, correct? That's correct, yeah. Unless he's getting oh, out of the right hand. Thank you, Mark Ratner. Well, you know what? What happens is it's done, it's passed, and they fight right here. Yeah. You know, it's over. Bizarre. Well, we'll learn from that. And he's aggressively going after Verdun and avoids another takedown attempt. Oh, look at that spinning kick by Verdun. And I was going to start to say, it's not about the experience. Yeah, that's a good right hand by Travis. Maybe it doesn't matter if you dislocated a thing. Well, this is another thing to take into consideration, Mike, in is that Fabricio Verdun has had some pretty significant back injuries over the last few years. He dealt with it before the King Velasquez fight, and it's prevented him from training on many occasions. Well, he's always dangerous. I mean, 
you know, he's going to explode on you and land one big shot and take you out, but he just doesn't look like the same Travis Brown. I mean, he's had four losses in his MMA career, but two of them in a row. Travis Brown of old, like the Travis Brown that beat Brendan Shaw. But if he wants to just play it safe and win, this is all he has to do right here. Wow. Grab that pretty easy, but Travis popped out of it pretty easy as well. You know, I mean, it's, it's hard to tell a man that he's got to go for broke and put himself in the line of danger. But for Travis Brown, there's really no other options. He's moving away there, putting his hands up. It's not a nice kick by Fabricio. And a good knee and a punch as well. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. Good high kick by Travis, but blocked by Fabricio. And again, he goes to it. He needs more of that. Well, it certainly has defined his career in many ways up until now. He's taking wild chances. He looks good and crisp with his striking and has managed to avoid all the big shots from Travis. There's a good kick to the body. Had Final him in a bad seconds. position at one point in time in the first round, but one was unable to really capitalize on it and finish him. Submission due to a rear naked choke, Mickey Gall. See all the results live throughout the night. Here we go. First fight, John Calderwood in the blue, Jessica Andrade in the yellow. Andrade, who is very 
very physically strong. See her using that left hook to the body there. And there's a knee to the body. Good uppercut to the body there as well. Great dedication. Slick hands and Andrade. Her first seven fights in the UFC at 135. And she fit very well, Joe. Well, she was very short for that weight class, but showed how strong she is. There's a cut on the left eye of Andrade. Not exactly sure where it came from, but early on in the fight for that, big takedown by Andrade. Back in 2014. You see that cut, Mike? Not exactly sure how bad it is. It's tough to tell. But Calderwood. Oh, big takedown by Andrade. In her pro career. Yeah, you can see that cut now. It appears to be a small cut in the corner of the eye of Andrade. She got a little hasty there trying to step over. She left her legs tangled up. And Calderwood is using that to get to full guard now. Nice adjustment by Jojo. Very good adjustment. And now she's trying to set up a triangle. Big slam. But she's got to be careful of Calderwood's guard. Calderwood has good skills off her back. And you're seeing quite a bit of blood. Looks like it's coming not just from the eye, but perhaps from the nose of Andrade as well. And her leg is tied up here. Calderwood's doing a really good job of trapping that leg. And especially with that underhook on the left-hand side, she may use that to stand up. See how she's doing that, Mike? The cage is in her way if she tries to roll her and sweep her. But Andrade recognizes and starts pounding on her. Big hammer fist. Tops UFC knockout 16 mobile trading card app. Now available for iOS and Android devices. Download for free now. Big punches from the top by Andrade. She doesn't care if she's in the guard, half guard, close guard, passing. She's scoring with this grounding power. Yeah, Calderwood had a good position earlier, but unfortunately for her, she was up against the cage. She wasn't able to go in the direction she wants, and now she finds herself again stuck on the bottom, inside control, with a very physically imposing on Drudge. Look at the back muscles in that woman. She's very strong. Calderwood again, though, is going to the right move. See how she's got the half guard, Mike? She's also got the underhook on the same side as the half guard. That's what she wants. And Drudge recognizes it. She's pounding on her. Grabs the guillotine. Drops she down. Did it. Looking to finish right here, right now. 30 seconds on the clock. Andrade has a nasty guillotine, Mike, and that looks good. Calderwood trying to get it out. She's it is all over. Jessica Andrade by submission. That is a big win for Jessica Andrade. Big and imposing win. Especially considering how good Joanne Calderwood looked in her last fight. It makes it all the more impressive that Andrade is able to do that. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine choke, Jessica Bajestaka Andrade. Quick and loans arena, here we go. Blue trunks for Rivera, white trunks for Faber. That trademark wide stance by Uriah. And this is such a big test for young Jimmy Rivera. For sure. But Jimmy Rivera presents real danger. He throws with reckless abandon, and he's got some serious knockout power. And he nice landed uppercut. a nice uppercut there. They work in the clinch. And Uriah out of harm's way. Falling around. A lot of feints here by Uriah as well. Perfect example right there. Yeah, he's trying to trying to get a sense of the timing of Jimmy Rivera. Well, there's a good right hand by Uriah, but a good counter left hook by Jimmy. Just over a minute on the clock. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Rivera trying to settle in. Realize that he's not in there with the, the big aura of Uriah Faber. He's in there with another fighter that he has the skills to defeat. Most notably in the Mike Brown fight. Turned into Elbow City. Yeah, he broke both of his hands in that fight. And it's 
still managed to fight to a decision. Round one in the books. Second round. You sir? Yeah. You sir? Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Hold tight. He's Hold ready. tight. Let's get him up. You ready? All right. We continue. Inadvertent is what Gary Copeland said. Still a warning, though. Just 30 seconds in. If Uriah could solve the riddle that is Jimmy Rivera. Because he's a dangerous guy. Oh, he yeah, just him got the left hand. Yeah. I, I would like to see if he would fight a different style, knowing that it was a longer fight. Oh, oh you have And yeah, he changes his stance. Yeah, his, his leg's very red. You can see it. Take it to him. Take it back. Good right hand, but a good catch. A good, good uh, kick, rather. But a good catch by Rivera. And then another hard yes. kick. Just past the midway point. Yeah, he's, he's almost standing square at times. Not sure which leg to put forward. I mean, that, was, that was a powerful leg kick. And there's another one. Another He's one. Hurt. That dude has been laid to it as much as any person ever yeah. in the history of MMA. And it's not a TJ Dillashaw, Dominic Cruz, exactly. move around all the time. Another tight performance from either one. Yeah, and that's the kind of fight you have to fight with a tank like Rivera. Yes. In my opinion. I mean, I think. Final seconds of round number two. Nice spin. Good round two for Jimmy Rivera. Very good round two. He lifted that knee up high in the air, almost kind of shake it out. Big swing and a miss. Oh, you might have heard him with that, Mike. Given that nickname by his uncle, who was a boxer. And that's something we don't Oh, Beautiful kick by Rivera. He's doing such a great job of lighting those legs up. Landed thus far oh, and man. pretty much thrown. Again, beautiful inside leg kick by Rivera. Oh, I feel I feel I feel Hey, go to neutral corner, your eye. Oh, neutral corner. That's Down. not good. I poke. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, Jimmy, come it looked over like here. an open hand slap by uh, Uriah let's before let's that. Right. He's going to keep going. Right over here, right over here. Yeah, give him some time here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, just over three minutes. Just watch the read. Remain in okay, this fight. Time to be ready? Oh, that's ready? 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 Fight. Uriah comes out aggressively. He's in 310 now. Third and final round. Kick right up the middle from Faber. Caught that left counter over the top of his own right. The guy was trenched out of bounds. He just shook him off. Another hard play kick. Good right hand by Rivera and a left hand behind it. Fifteen. This one is going to end up in the hands of the judges. Swing and a miss. See if Uriah goes for it in the last ten seconds to go here. They go the distance. All three judges score this contest. 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Jimmy Eltero. Hey!